Hey guys, Deb the Awesome here to give you a Monster Legends video. Uh, in this video, we are talking about uh, the top five uh, rare monsters. I recommend you uh, investing uh, time to get the cells for in the cell, uh, sale week event uh, that goes out on occasion. Uh, basically, the cell sale is when... Uh, like jet like like you get two cells for the price of a reduced price of minus one gem per per like purchase of a cell in the in the cell lab shop uh or, words <laughs> slop shop uh and you can buy a uh, rare monster cells for rare monsters that come out for events with gold and in all honesty you could go through like you could probably just straight up buy uh up to a maximum of two hundred cells per event that's the maximum amount of cells you can possibly buy. Uh, in the event, uh, when you st when you get a steady income, and all honesty, once you get like a steady income, uh, in all in all honesty, you could get like, uh, it's not in all honesty, it's not that expensive, uh, in during an event, uh, to just straight up buy a bunch of rare cells. Uh, it probably takes two or three million. Uh, but that's about it, I think. Uh, I I could still be doing my math wrong too. It could be like one million or something. I I I know. In all honesty, it doesn't feel like I'm spending that much uh, when I do get uh, two hundred of a, any given time for a monster. In all honesty, just for like I'm talking talking about in gold. Uh, I think you can just straight up buy two hundred cells, and I don't know if it's over. It is a million or more. It, it could just be a million. I don't know, but uh, I I never really took the I never really take the time to to like you know calculate how much i actually like like how much a like 200 cells is the equivalent to but i feel like i never spend any more than a, a million or anything like that i i always feel like like uh i i even feel like i don't even spend a million in all honesty but uh yeah getting cells in during cell cell week is pretty important so i'm going to talk about monsters that you should look into to rank up <laughs> uh because we usually like for like the like there are monsters that come out during events we don't think we can really use them or like they're like they're not going to be as good as the thing like the things we could just breed uh but you know when you can buy the cells in cell cell week you have that option to use you have the option to use event monsters in war or uh, like like they're they're more like you can improve their the event monsters and all that jazz uh so starting off uh we're starting off with hedgy because i personally have a hedgy uh this isn't like a in num any numbered order uh if anything if this if this was a lift to top, top like the very top i highly recommend uh this would be the highly recommend one uh hedgy you wouldn't think like uh, if you ever took a the look at hedgy's skills you wouldn't think he'd be uh first choice but but he actually is he's a, and he's kind of like an improved he's an improved spark wedge is what he is uh because he has a he has a slow all right and he has an aoe uh, hey, so you can do that. It's still the same chances, the sale the same odds, but he can heal. That's a huge difference. And he has another move uh, to give him another chance to get haste. And you should notice that the cooldowns on his moves aren't too high. Uh, I run a bulky Hedgy at the moment with two lives and a speed. And I swear he never he in all honesty. Uh, if the if the situation's right, he he won't die on me. <laughs> uh, he's just that bulky. Uh, and you ha if you have something, oh, see if you have something with AOE life regen, it 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 gets stupid. Trust me, it gets really stupid. Uh, especially he if he lands the slow on an enemy, they they yeah, it's just it it gets stupid. <laughs> uh, so Hedgy, I highly recommend. These are his stats at 105. Uh, the speed gets pretty decent in all honesty in terms of. Uh, like for how high a speed stat could go for a rare, I think he might be one of the highest ones in terms of speed. Uh, not not that well. Not I'm saying one of the highs, not the highest, because uh, Spark Wedge actually carries. Uh, I think it was like three thousand six hundred uh, for the speed stat for rare when he's one hundred and five. I I can't remember on the top of my head, but I'm I'm pretty sure it was a pretty high speed nonetheless. Uh, so that's that's uh the first one. Uh, next is Lacroix. This uh. This uh, shoe referencing gator here, uh, he does a few interesting things. He has an AOE daze and an AOE stun straight out the bat. Uh, it's funny because he's using a, a racket uh, because he's playing Batman and with a with a spike ball. You know that's that's dangerous. <laughs> that's that's a that's a is that a sport violation? <laughs> are, are you allowed to use spike balls for <laughs> for rackets? <laughs> All right, I think that's oh, that be. It's not tennis. Uh, I forgot. The, I actually forgot the name of the sport. 
Uh, but anyway, uh, uh, Slice, uh, this is one of the, this is the other move that's really helpful. He has a regen move. Uh, this gives him 20 per for three turns uh, so essentially if you're on two speeds and a life rune you're getting pretty uh I'm, I'm, i'd say you get m optimal value with this monster uh and i, I like that about that uh that's really nice i think um do, 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 do. oh he also has a healing move too that's uh that's another thing heals by 30 percent. this says a hundred percent so i don't know if this actually heals him fully i don't i don't know if that's an actual thing uh but I think it's, in all honesty, I think it's 30%. It would make sense if it was, th if it was 30. Uh, next up on the list, we got Eggnock. Uh, Eggnock here is, uh, these are, again, these are all their stats. This is maximum statage. Uh, this is what their stats at, are at, uh, you know, 105, their max rank. Uh, the power is really, in all honesty, with the power, the power is really decent. I don't think the power matters too much, though, in all honesty, uh, because you want to run either, probably either full speed or... Or like two speeds and a life rune with Eggnock. Or people run, you know, in all honesty, people if they're not running uh, uh, fully ranked up, if they're not running ranked up Eggnock, they run team speed. In all honesty, you can like uh, people like most of the time just run team speed with uh, rares. Uh, it's what you kind of do late game. Uh, but you can, in all honesty, if you do rank up your monster, I think you can go for a bulky build, and I think that. In all honesty, I think that saves you coins with the how the meta's changing, or like how the the defensive teams are nowadays. I think the uh, I think you have a higher chance of surviving uh, harder wars or at least harder fights when the monster, like their rare monster, isn't like a a balloon, <laughs> isn't like a balloon, or like they're not squishy. Uh, Eggnog at this point is somewhat uh, all right in terms of bulkage. Uh, 24k if you have put a life rune on that you're pretty solid uh just don't get hit by double damage and i think you're good uh the speed is still atrocious but that way that's why you run the two speed runes in all honesty uh, and you get the uh this guy has quite a few uh neat stuff about him he has a single target slow this guy is actually based on one of my favorite uh epic monsters this guy was uh this guy is based on the uh, fire mushroom dude. Well, I can't remember his name on the top of my head uh, at the moment here. I think it was. Uh, I swear, I swear it's Elder Sporling. Yep, that, there's the monster. <laughs> Elder Sporling. Yeah, he's based on Elder Sporling. He's like an Easter version of it. Uh, there's a there's a lot of neat things about him. One, he gets this AOE here that gives applies two random negative effects. So if you get this uh, ultimate, you're pretty, in a pretty good spot. Uh, he's got a great ultimate. Uh, single target, neat, single target move there. Uh, he's got an AoE possession. That's right, sirs. Uh, he's got an AoE possession. It's a four-turn cooldown possession, but, you know, in all honesty, the, you can take advantage of it. It's not, it's not too big of a, too big of a deal as a four-turn cooldown. Uh, and he has a two-turn cooldown possession, single target. And the stamina cost isn't all that high for that single target one, uh, which is pretty awesome. Uh, so that's kind of why you want to rank up Eggnock, uh, one of the po more popular uh, rares uh, for the game. Uh, this next monster is just a monster you can just straight up get in monster dungeons occasionally. Uh, Sludger. Uh, Sludger is pretty neat in all honesty, especially at 105. He gets pretty ridiculous. Uh, he's Im he's uh, immune to fire. I mean, not in fire, burning. <laughs> burning, I'm sorry. He's immune to burning, so that helps him deal with most of the... Uh, you know, things that he'd probably wind up going against in situations, especially fire monsters. He works very well in fire wars. Uh, you should totally bring him into fire wars, uh, because he does, um, he has, like, an AoE up. He does, like, he's got an AoE stamina drain, uh, just a bunch of AoE, and oh, all, so he has a lot of AoE water damage. I think he had, like, two water, mo yeah, two, two water AoEs. That, this one isn't all that great, though. I, I, I usually see them, them build like all three water AOEs, it's ridiculous. But uh, the AOEs are nice. The 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 little, little neat things about it. Uh, and he has like an AOE. I could, I swore he had like yep. He's, he has the AOE, uh, thirty percent life shields, uh, which is pretty nice. Uh, uh, and he gives a big shield. I really like this. He gives a forty percent shield plus energy regen. Personally, I'd run mud barrier. I'd run multi water. Uh, uh, engage uh, multi-water attack and mud shelter that'd be kind of my uh build for him uh, you could run a stun move if you wanted to but that was, again that was just kind of my set 
Uh, I might not, you know, honestly, I might not, maybe I wouldn't run the offensive moves, maybe not, uh, depending on the, the final build I'd have. I'd probably build this guy extra, you know, honestly, looking at this guy's stuff, I'd build him extra guy, uh, just because of his really well-rounded stats. He's got really well-rounded stats for a rare monster. Um, this last monster, I, I didn't think I was gonna talk about but it's uh oh wait not the, not the, not this one we still got one more here uh but we we got another one to talk about uh this guy is slantar i have slantar i don't have him like fully ranked up yet sadly uh but slantar is pretty great uh because of this ability i think it was was it this one yes uh saint courage i think he's the only rare in the game at the moment that does this uh it's an aoe removes all negative effects and gives everybody double damage this is pretty awesome uh it essentially helps people sweep uh, I always have, the, this guy always die. like, where he's at right now, uh, he always dies on me, it's, I have him, like, at two team, like, two team speed runes, and he just dies on me, it's, it's, it's not easy keeping this thing alive, uh, with, uh, if you do full team speed, don't, don't suspect this thing to live through anything, uh, that can be said for most rare monsters in the game, but, oh, Jesus, this thing did not, this guy does not, like, damage at all like when he's not ranked up <laughs> uh when he's ranked up he takes he can take a he can take a like a hit or two if you give a life rune to him uh he likes in turns of like natural life uh if you give him a life rune he, he can stomach a few hits at, at that point which would be very helpful for him uh if you, you he, in all honesty you need this guy to be able to move and stuff so you can do the saint courage and so you can sweep uh that's kind of one of your main goals uh with that monster uh he has a 70 damage move. I thought that was pretty neat uh, in terms of single target damage. So if it's like a a, rare, a war where he takes, you can take advantage of a certain situation. He's in a pretty great spot. Uh, he's got a stun. I also found that helpful. I find that honestly, I've, I don't have the stun on my guy yet, but that's helpful. Uh, the blind. Uh, I don't think I have the blind on. Uh, yeah, I don't think I have the blind on my monster. Uh, let's just one do Saint. Saint Protection. I don't know if I have Saint Protection yet on mine. I, I might have it. Maybe I don't. I, th I think I do. I think I have Saint Protection on. Uh, but you should totally run that too. That's a, It's just a shield. It's 30%. Uh, Mudflow. I can't believe I, did, I didn't put Mudflow on here. Uh, but another suggestion is Mudflow. Uh, I, I'm just going to go all the way down to these two. Uh, you should totally go uh, rank up Mudflow and Nanuku. Uh, Nanook uh, is basically, uh, like, a like, he's, like, mud flow, but, like, you know, he's got AoE blind, and not, he doesn't have the AoE stun, but he has the AoE blind, and he also has an AoE freeze. I thought that was really interesting. Uh, so you can see he freezes everybody, uh, he, no, did I skip it? No, no, it's over this one. I think that was a stamina drain move, too. Yeah, 50% stamina drain, has a 50% stamina drain, uh, another another freeze move, an AoE blind, really neat stuff. Uh, he dazes. I, I think he has, like, he's got an immunity to freeze, too, so that's also nice. Uh, his ultimate dazes, so that combos with the blind. Uh, so that that's probably one of the newest popular uh, rare monsters as of late. Uh, he's been out since, like, the, the winter maze, but, you know, he's probably the one of the more popular ones as of late. Uh, Mudflow, we're gonna look at Mudflow real quick. Oh yeah, these are our stats at 105 too. Look at, uh, this is for Nan Nanook. Uh, so pretty decent, uh, oh wait, 105, I'm sorry, is it, that was 100. Uh, he seems to, he doesn't seem to have too good of a scaling compared to with his other rare brothers, but that's alright. Uh, that, those are still alright stats, not the, not the best in the world, but, eh, what can you do? <laughs> uh, they're pretty all right. They're pretty all right. Mudflow. Mudflow is a really popular rare at the moment. Uh, he came out with the Force of Nature's event. And he's been very common in all honesty. He's been very common in Maze events lately. I don't know how people feel about that. But I th I, th I would think they'd love it just because they get hey, they get another Mudflow so they can rank up their Mudflow. <laughs> uh, that's probably how they feel about it. Uh, this surprisingly has a really great attack spat, stat. <laughs> splat. <laughs> stat at uh, 105, 3,116. Pretty awesome power. Uh, life is 25,923. Pretty good life. Uh, pretty sustainable. I'm pretty sure you could get away with the extra guy build looking at this guy. Uh, and or you could do two speeds and a life rune. Uh, or you could just 
shove full speed if you so wished, you could probably outrun the attacker at that point. Uh, that's probably an option for you. At odds are, you could do that. Uh, full speed runes if you wanted. Uh, but the nice thing about uh, Mudflow here, he does he has an AoE fleas and also applies stamina leak uh, to the all targets, which I think is really nice. That's a nice thing about it. Uh, it's got it's a four turn. It's costly though because it costs four turns uh, in terms of cooldownage. Uh, this is a, a this is basically an AoE stun for three turns. Uh, it's fifty damage, so that's nice. The base damage on that's nice. Uh, yeah, he's got a spammable stun move. Uh, and he has a 30% barrier. Uh, I think beyond, uh, beyond, in all honesty, beyond the deny, that's about it uh, with this monster. But that's the main sell point for the monster, so that's what's up. Uh, so that is, in all honesty, all the monsters uh, I recommend. Uh, one more monster before we go, though, that I would... Uh, you know, advise, you don't have, and honestly, when I recommend any of these monsters, it's just my personal opinion that you should uh, invest in, you don't have, you can invest in all honesty, you can invest in whatever you want, but these are just my personal suggestions, uh, Neridia right here too, is a very valid option, I think her stats at 100, I can't remember her stats at 105, but I'm pretty sure they're pretty, were they righteous? I think they were, one, 105, uh, yep, they're pretty righteous at 105, uh, all right, uh, for, you know, regulars and stuff like that, uh, the, it's got an AoE possession, uh, I thought that was neat, I can't believe it's five turns, though, that's a, wow, well, he's a five turns, <laughs> it's a five turn AoE possession, that's disgusting, uh, she gives life regen and stamina regen to everybody. So it's kind of like a mini invarv, kind of. Except she doesn't remove status effects. Uh, that's a neat thing about her. And she gives a little damage boost to everybody and heal to everybody. So she's got, it seems like she has a lot of AoE healing. That's kind of her main sell point. Uh, so this is a monster that I'd recommend, uh, looking into too. Uh, you can, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, that's every single, uh, rare monster that I advise basically most of the event monsters basically mostly all of them <laughs> I hope this uh I hope that in all honesty I hope this video helped out I didn't really recommend any of the breedable stuff because you know they're breedable uh doesn't mean they're not worth ranking up uh I think like uh Bonbon bon and like Bonbon bon had a good recovery skill Beefcake had uh had a recovery skill. I, I personally like using, uh, like, just because it's, like, my personal favorite in terms of breedable monsters. Spark Reg is a fun idea. Uh, but, I, yeah, personal preference, you know. <laughs> uh, yeah, 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 totally just invest in time with the monsters you love. That's, like, another recommendation. Uh, Rodent's also a good choice. He's, uh, mini Voltic. That's, but I didn't kind of recommend it just because it's mini Voltic. Uh, you can rank up, uh, Rodent. I actually don't know his stats at 105. But yeah, Rodin's basically a Voltic. That's basically what he is. Nope. It's like Monster Legends Eradicate. 105. Pretty decent stats. Yeah, so pretty decent offensive stats at 105. Uh... So yeah, you could probably run two speeds and a li uh, not life uh, stamina move. I think the uh, was it the was the cool was it the move? No, that stamina is actually pretty high. That's a that's a thirty five one. In terms of stamina cost, this is actually pretty high. <laughs> uh, he's got life steal. He's got spammable moves that you can do infinite turns. It's ridiculous. Uh, but yeah, uh, that was everything you needed to know. <laughs> I'm Dib the Awesome. I'll catch you guys later.